1948, as Cold War tensions began to rise, the USSR realized that victory in what felt like a looming war could potentially rely on the development and utilization of unconventional weapons. As biological science advanced following the Second World War, the USSR's ability to develop biological weapons advanced along with it. Soon it was deemed necessary to develop a research facility in a suitably remote location for the production and testing of pathogenic weapons. Vosrosdenia Island was chosen. Located in the Aral Sea, this island provided natural isolation from the public. Construction of the facility began, and the facility was completed within the year. In 1954 the site received the funding for further expansion, becoming a significant military installation. The upgrades included the construction of a massive airfield consisting of four runways arranged in a starburst pattern. This allowed aircraft to land regardless of wind conditions, and was unique in that it was the only airbase with four runways in the Soviet Union at the time. It is speculated that, at its peak, the facility held 1,500 people. Most of these people inhabited the town of Kanchibek, a residential area specifically built to house workers of the bioweapons facility. Renamed Aralsk 5 following its expansion, the base was utilized extensively by the Soviet Microbiological Warfare Group. Some of the most virulent pathogens known at the time were cultured on the island. Among the most deadly were, Bacillus anthracis the bacteria responsible for anthrax, Yersinia pestis, the causative agent of the plague, and most notably smallpox, the, now eradicated, lethal human pathogen. Locals on the mainland regarded the island with suspicion. They suspected the base was responsible for many strange occurrences in the area. Large quantities of fish would often inexplicably wash up on shores, local populations of antelope would die in unexplained ways, and the area would frequently experience regional plague outbreaks that were often rumored to have originated from the base. However, no proof of any pathogens escaping the lab existed. This changed in 1971. On the 30th of July a weaponized form of variola major the caustative agent of smallpox was being field tested on the island. Unbeknownst to the researchers a civilian ship collecting plankton samples had approached within 15 kilometers of the island, disregarding the 40 kilometers exclusion zone around the facility. During this excursion a member of the ship's crew was exposed to the bioweapon, and despite having been vaccinated against smallpox began to develop symptoms. A few weeks later on the 11th of August the ship docked in port, and still unwell, the crew member returned home to her family. Here she infected her siblings and members of the wider community. Soon the outbreak was recognized, and the area was subjected to quarantine. The Almaty Moscow train was halted in Aralsk and prevented from leaving the infected town, all traffic in and out of the area was halted, and the incineration of 18 tons of potentially exposed goods was carried out. 50,000 unaffected people were vaccinated, and those that were thought to be infected were isolated in a makeshift facility at the edge of the city. Thankfully these efforts contained the spread of the weaponized strain, which was found to be able to cause hemorrhagic smallpox more effectively than wild smallpox making it more dangerous. In total only 10 people contracted smallpox, with three succumbing to the infection. This is the only known incident where the bioweapons facility was found to be directly responsible. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the facility was closed in November of 1991. Within weeks the island's inhabitants were relocated, leaving the facility and the specially constructed town of Kanchibek to fall to ruins. The schools, shops and homes were all abandoned. In the decades following the hasty abandonment of the site it has been found that many of the pathogens were not stored correctly. Many of the containers housing these deadly agents began to leak. This prompted a US-led cleanup of the island. During this operation, 
which cost around 5 million US dollars, 10 sites where anthrax spores had been buried were decontaminated. As the Aral Sea drained due to damming operations in the area the land ceased to be an island and is now accessible from the mainland. Its territory is split between modern-day Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Whilst the cleanup operation was considered a success, it is possible that pathogenic threats still remain on the island. The risk these unidentified and possibly weaponized strains posed to humanity is not known. Make sure to dig deep to find the facts everyone, but please, be wary of what you might dig up. Thank <music> you.